Hey there, future scientists. Ever wondered how plants turn sunlight into food? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into the light reaction of photosynthesis. And trust me, it's way cooler than it sounds. So first things first, what is photosynthesis? In a nutshell, it's the process by which plants, algae, and some bacteria convert light energy into chemical energy. Think of it as nature's way of whipping up some delicious plant smoothies. And the light reaction? It's the first step in this super important process. All right, let's break it down. The light reaction takes place in the chloroplasts of plant cells, specifically in the thylakoid membranes. Picture these membranes like tiny solar panels. When sunlight hits them, they get all excited and start a chain reaction. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's talk about the stars of our show, the pigments. Chlorophyll is the main pigment, and it loves soaking up blue and red light. By the way, that's why plants look green. They reflect green light. Now, when these light-absorbing pigments get hit by photons, they get supercharged. Think of it like giving them a shot of espresso. This energy boost kicks off a series of reactions called the photosystems. We've got Photosystem 2 and Photosystem 1. Yes, it's a bit like a sequel, but hey, who doesn't love a good series? Photosystem 2 goes first. It absorbs light, gets energized, and then splits water molecules into oxygen, protons, and electrons. And guess what? That oxygen is what we breathe. So next time you take a deep breath, thank Photosystem 2. The high energy electrons then travel down the electron transport chain, a bit like a relay race, passing the baton from one molecule to another. This journey helps pump protons into the thylakoid space, creating a gradient. Think of it like building up pressure in a water balloon. Next up, Photosystem 1 absorbs more light and re-energizes those electrons. These electrons then combine with NADP+, to form NADPH, a molecule that'll be super important later in the Calvin cycle. And don't worry, we'll get to that in another video. But wait, there's more. The proton gradient we mentioned earlier drives the production of ATP, the energy currency of the cell. This happens through a protein called ATP synthesis. Think of it like a tiny turbine spinning to generate energy. So to sum it up, the light reaction converts solar energy into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH, while also producing oxygen as a byproduct. It's like a perfectly choreographed dance of molecules and light. Pretty awesome, right? And there you have it. The light reaction of photosynthesis, simplified just for you. Next time you see a plant basking in the sun, remember all the incredible chemistry happening inside its leaves? Thanks for watching and stay curious. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more beautiful science. Until next time, keep those brains buzzing.